President Thank you for Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky met British Foreign Secretary James Cleverly in Kiev on June 5 and discussed preparations for a NATO summit and Ukraine's efforts to end Russia's invasion. In remarks at the meeting, Zelensky thanked Cleverly for Britain's continued support of Ukraine and discussed the supply of air defense systems following recent attacks by Russian missiles and drones. Cleverly's visit came as Russia reported that Ukraine has begun a counteroffensive, something Ukrainian Deputy Defense Minister Hanna Malier dismissed on Monday. Moscow said it had thwarted a major Ukrainian assault involving six mechanized and two tank battalions in the south of Ukraine's Donetsk region. Still giving, and we hope will <laughs> prolong this support to Ukraine. To open discussion. And I want to thank for the last one. It's about opening possibility for training missions for our pilots mm -hmm. on fighter jets and uh, also the possibility to open discussion uh, about coalition of patriots. That is also very important. I'm happy that all the leaders understood that during this period of time when we have such big escalation by attacking of different kinds of rockets. Mm -hmm. And during all this period when we I don't have EF fighter jazz. We need really something to close the sky, and we understand the name of this something. It is genuinely lovely to have the opportunity to see you again. I'm, I'm dark, but this time I can see there's more life in the city. Uh, the traffic is heavier, um, which normally is a bad sign in a city. But I think for me, it, it demonstrates what I've known to be true. And, and that is um, that the Ukrainian people are not going to allow themselves to be broken by this. Um, and I think that, um, I think, you know, you're very much leading by example, but it's, it's for me fascinating to watch the Ukrainian people, even though there are drone attacks, even though there are alarms going off through the night, even, even though you know, Russia has tried throughout the winter to break the infrastructure of your country, to break the will of your people. The Ukrainian people keep refusing to be broken, yourself included. And, and I have to say, it's a, um, it, it's a pleasure to come back to Kyiv. When we made the commitment publicly that we would continue backing you and your country until you are victorious in your self-defense, we meant it. Um, when we said that we would do more and go further, we meant it to make sure that it is a, a, an important, not just practical event. I've known to be true, and, and that is um, that the Ukrainians to be the best soldiers that they can be. Um, and so we're also deriving benefit from our close working relationship, and we really value that.